guys it's me kate again uh this is this video is going to be my february wrap-up uh, sorry because of this it's sunny and i have window from right here so uh, my hair is going to look this way for a while so the first thing that i read was the silver chair which is book six book six just a second yes book six in the chronicles of narnia the um, what happened in that one the last battle the last battle the last battle the silver chair um, This was, I finished in just beginning of the month, so I'm not sure. Uh, uh, this one follows a cousin of the kids from the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and one of his classmates when they go in Narnia it's um this was good i gave it five out of five stars because it's book six of the series I, uh, of a serious series i can i can't tell much about it like the because the plot goes onwards i and i'm not completely sure what actually happened this is the title page uh in my bind up okay there is a map complete completely randomly in this and like not uh, of course there's notations on the beginning of each chapter as in the other ones and uh, then I read The Last Battle, which was also in the Chronicles of Narnia. This is the title page. I gave it five to five stars and this is like... So because of the... So the glare, because it's a little bit like this, you can see. You can't see everything. In, don't put like this, but I can. Uh, the basically this book starts uh completely completely like you start with a donkey and a ma and an ape talking basically the first uh sentences in the last days of narnia far up to far up to the west beyond the lantern waste and close uh, beside the great waterfall, there lived an ape. He was all the, uh, and then it goes on and he was all blah, 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 blah. And stuff like that. Uh, and then it comes to the talking donkey. Completely random. <laughs> and the donkey then wears lion skin, lion skin to part of the book. I don't know what happened in that one, but I gave it five to five stars. And I should really watch the movies. I watched one of them years ago. I don't remember which one. I think it's... Um, no, what's the title? I think it's Voyage of the Dawn Trader, but I'm not sure. As I said, it was years ago. I only remember that characters were older, so it's not like the first, uh, the first like the line richer and the workshop. They were older, but I don't remember which one it was. And after I finished that, I read maybe not. 
like I don't remember in which one I am going to the order I wrote them down not because I'm not sure if in which order I read them I will link my Goodreads down below so you can go and see because I don't know um, the the Alice in the Wonderland and the Alice to the Looking Glass uh, uh, this I enjoyed it I remember my grandma read me this when I was a kid I still have like the book of Pineapple which is book has a lot of different fairy tales and it has us in the wonderland and I loved it I watched the cartoon like with my dad recently like the beginning of it was it this month or the last month last month maybe let's just check I'm not sure blah 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 last month that means in january and uh, the cartoon not the live action movie and uh, the cartoon goes is the same as the like it's uh, closer to the source material than the live action one and uh, i found out that even though I like this fairy tale, I love it actually. It's my favorite fairy tale, maybe, depending on in which point you ask me. Uh, I do prefer a live action movie than the book and cartoon. So, yeah, that's maybe because when I was a kid, like two or three years old. Alice, who was seven in this book, was like older me and like was a role model. I'm more than twice her age at this point. I'm 16, so yeah, it's a little bit weird reading it now. But like this is the first page and the illustrations are great. This is the beginning of Alice in the Wonderland. Like, uh, here comes a rabbit <laughs> and stuff like that. The illustrations are great. I prefer these illustrations to the uh, more than the Chronicles of Narnia ones, but I like them. And I gave both Alice in the Wonderland and to the Looking Glass. 5 out of 5 stars so I really did enjoy it and it was just weird reading it considering that she's what 7 in the book and I'm 16 so it's a bit, it was a little bit weird and now we go again in chronological order that I read this one uh, I read I read, I read I read um, what was the original title? Uh, I think that's in German, and I won't be able to pronounce it. The Leiden des Jungen Werthers. Packer Madog Werthera by Johann Wolf Wolfgang Gott. I don't know, this is a classic. I don't know what's happening. Like, this is basically a guy. It's about a guy who is in love with this woman who is married. I don't know what's happening in this book. I basically read it, what I call Martin's Way. And that's the guy from my middle school. Uh, he actually had a plan of reading one page and skip five. That's why I read and that's how I read it. Gave it two stars. Then I read uh where is it? Where is it? The Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe. This is just the pineapple of some of his short stories. I gave it five out of five stars. It's about a guy who murders a cat or 
puts it in the cave with his wife. I have no idea what this is about, but it was great. I know that he murders their cat and then finds out. I don't know. I think this was two different cats. And this was what five pages long. I have no idea what happened. And the last thing I read, and I gave it five stars. And the last thing I read was Jura Knashek Doba by Mikhail Jur Jurjevich Lermontov. And these three I need to read. The Nacino Knashek Doba, Pati Madagven, Tera, and the Black Cat I needed to read for school. So, even though I don't have them till May, but. <laughs> uh, the, this is about a guy who is in the army and then he goes around and talks to people he was in the army with. I have no idea. But I give it 4 out of 5 sorry this was good. And this is it for this video. Uh, I know that I did not know much about these books even though I read them. I have excuse for the correctness of Narnia ones. I read them in the beginning of the month and a lot of things happened since then and you'll see probably in the next video what the hell happened. Uh, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.